Kristen, there is a small crowd gathered here. They actually just wrapped up a group pair prayer. Um, this is a much different scene than what we saw earlier today. Crime scene tape back up this memorial smaller than what it was last night. Overnight, someone removed the massive pink tribute to Sade Robinson. But despite that, total strangers showed up today to pay their respects. You like it? Hannah Thomas never met 19 year old Sade Robinson, but she knew she had to send her condolences. I brought my girls out here. I think dating violence and just, you know, domestic violence in general is a super large problem. Thomas and her young daughters placing handmade cards on the steps of the house owned by Maxwell Anderson. Police say he killed and dismembered Robinson after their first date on April 1st. Thomas says she wants her girls to understand this tragedy. Just want them to know that like Shade was loved and she was a bright female in the community and we just need to look out for each other. So trying to teach them young, just keeping it age appropriate, but also letting them know that this is like, this is a real thing, right? This is a real issue in the community. On Monday evening, dozens of people gathered outside of Anderson's home, decorating it in pink, Robinson's favorite color. Overnight, someone removed all of those tributes. Today, more support and now a smaller memorial on the sidewalk. Thomas says what happened to Robinson hits close to home. I actually um, was in a very scary relationship for a while and like the girls unfortunately saw a lot of that unravel. And so as they've gotten older, just instilling this value of like you're important, you're loved. And she wants her family and friends to feel embraced by the community. What message do you have for Shade Robinson's family? I want her to know that we are out here. You don't know us and we don't know you, but we are doing our part and trying to spread awareness. And Saria, what have you learned about why police are out there? Well, Kristen, there is definitely a significant police presence. Now, they are blocking both sides of the street. The only people allowed on are people who actually live here. I just spoke with a Milwaukee police officer who told me that they are here assisting the Milwaukee County Sheriff's Office. We did see a deputy behind the home in the alley. I reached out to the Sheriff's Office to see what's going on. We are waiting for a response.